Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime, and I actually think our next video is going to be uh, debuting on a new set, but uh, this one couldn't because of what I need to show you guys. This is something that I'm, I, I'm almost in disbelief, but it actually makes a lot of sense, and you guys see the title. Uh, one of Nintendo's major competitors out there might be preventing games already announced for Nintendo Switch to come to Nintendo Switch. And one of these games was even shown in a Nintendo Direct. And yet, mysteriously, we've heard nothing from since. And uh, it might be because a certain competitor uh, with Nintendo is just really trying to hotbox Nintendo, especially given their placement in the Japanese marketplace. Now, that being said, uh, before we get into the rest of this video, this video has been sponsored by Into the AM. Into the AM makes premium print shirts just like this one uh, that you can get 10% off on right now using code Nintendo Prime 10 or clicking the link down in the description at into the am.com slash Nintendo Prime 10. They have blended tees, they have uh, printed tees like this, and all of them have been pre shrunk, so you don't need to worry about the fit and finish. You buy the shirt, if it fits you, sweet, you can not worry about it shrinking like some of us bigger fellas sometimes worry about. So, uh, yeah, I really like these shirts, they're super, super soft, and I wear them all the time. So thank you so much Into the AM for sponsoring this video and let's get into the rest. And the rest here is about something that came up on the podcast yesterday. So we have a, a Nintendo Prime podcast we do. Uh, we have a new co-host, uh, well, a new mostly permanent co-host. Every now and then when we have a guest, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll stick someone else in. But um, we're talking about Mike Perez and Nintendo Academy. And last week he gave us some juicy details that led to a video, and this time he did again. And that is because of some research he did. But, you know, what? I'm going to have him talk first. I'm going to play the clip from the podcast, and then uh, we'll discuss uh, what he means. There's a bit, different than, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> giving up your independence. There's another. There's also rumors, or in the, but the, these rumors are so old um, that there's this other company who plays good with nobody, who actually plays the pays developers under the table to delay game launches on other devices. And there's two games, who two games who who are supposed to come for the Switch, um, announced on Nintendo Direct. That all of a sudden say, oh, we can't come to the Switch yet because we're working on this and this and this and this and that. But when you look at where they are, they're at Sony. So I'm like, uh... Oh, you mean uh, Sony still has a grudge with Nintendo? I made a video with that topic, okay? Because I I, I, I pointed that out. Like, why go is ahead. it that... Yeah. You can go, you can you go link your video in the chat. You're good. Let, uh, let, um, let the people know. Go find it. Let but it. I added, there's a comment from one of the teams, from somebody who works in the one of the teams for uh, one of these games that I mentioned. This is news and to they, me, too, so I kind of want to... I might have to make a video on this. I'll have to find you. Yeah. That's one reason why I want you to link your video, so I don't have to go find it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, let me go find it. But um, while I go find it, yeah, they, they let the comments saying, oh, um, I know everybody's everybody's excited. Hell, um, hi, Nintendo Academy. Um, I know everybody's excited about this game coming to the platform. Uh, and we're looking forward to bringing it to blah, blah, blah. Um, but um, something, something, something. I'm like, wow, you, you, you didn't really deny what I said. You just kind of, <laughs> you know? Talked around just, it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. They gave you the runaround. Oh, the, the, the absolute PR. Going around town. <laughs> the absolute PR statement. All right, so... Obviously, uh, that's some pretty serious accusations that Sony is preventing two games in particular coming to the Switch. And those two games are Fall Guys and Genshin Impact. Now, let's actually look at the video he made. This is the video, and, he, and, and the comment he's referring to. And um, it, it, it's quite interesting when you, you look through the comment section and you're trying to find this comment. Uh, and, and I'm not actually seeing anything unless it's this person right here. Uh, we know we know the news regarding uh, Nintendo Switch uh, trademark and Xbox is highly anticipated. We're finalizing development, and though it isn't within this update, it's still coming. Until then, we're super excited to enable this cross-platform functionality for our existing platforms as a first step. And I, I checked out this guy, 
on uh, on YouTube, and I'm I'm not really sure who he is. He joined back in 2020, um, and it, it looks pretty interesting, maybe. So I don't know if this comment is really a, a big deal. This could just be some kid. Um, so he, he might have read a little bit too much in the comment. But what he's not reading too much into is the official websites for Genshin Impact and Fall Guys used to list Nintendo Switch as supported platforms and listed it right along with everything else. So on the Fall Guys website, it used to be up here in the get it on your favorite platform, except it was, you know, you couldn't click it because it wasn't available yet. Uh, and it used to be down here listed right next to PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, PC, and there used to be a Nintendo Switch logo down here, and uh, they are gone now. Uh, so is Fall Guys no longer coming to Switch? Genshin Impact as well. You see PS4, the Apple App Store, the Google Play Store, and Windows as PC. Uh, you're not seeing the Nintendo Switch stuff here, and that used to be listed here as well. On both of these websites, it has been removed. So when you put two and two together, that both of these games are obviously on PlayStation, uh, and one of them was actually also announced for Xbox, so we can't even use the power excuse. Switch is not powerful enough, so the Xbox series is not powerful enough for Fall Guys or Genshin Impact. That's a little suspicious, don't you think? And you use the fact that both of these games are actually really popular on PlayStation in the top 10 most played games every week and are both really popular in Japan in particular where Sony has a hard time maintaining um you know the the, the stuff the, the maintaining fans maintaining relevancy compared to switch it, it's just interesting to look at interesting to think about there have been rumors about this before Sony does have a long winded history of uh, paying for exclusivity or allowing um, exclusivity to a certain point where uh, it ends up not mattering by the time it comes to other platforms. These games were announced for Switch in Nintendo Directs, uh, so clearly Nintendo thought that it was a, a pretty much a done deal and coming soon. And uh, unfortunately, it looks like they may not come at all, or by the time they come, Switch might not be relevant anymore, because it could be 2025 or something. So uh, this is rather unfortunate if this is true again. Speculation, we can't say that it's true 100%. These sort of business dealings happen behind the scenes all the time without anyone actually announcing it. So at the end of the day, uh, we're just going to have to sit here and wait and hope and pray we get an update on this stuff, uh, which I don't think is forthcoming. So uh, you guys let me know what you think about this. Do you think Sony's guilty? Do you think uh, that they had anything to do with this? Uh, or do you think that this is just happy circumstance? And it's really just sad that neither one of these games appear to be coming to Switch anymore. I don't know. I know that uh, I, I'm just a, a smidge sad because I, I do think both these games are well worth a play. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Robojans from Nintendo Prime. If you ended up enjoying this video, I would appreciate if you would drop a like, subscribe, leave a comment um, for more Nintendo news and all of that uh, and discussion. And you know what? I'm just going to catch you guys in the next video.